Hello students, today I'm going to continue with chapter 3, that is the cell. Uh, today we are going to study about the cell organelles that are present inside the animal cell and the plant cell. So let us start with the nucleus. This is a spherical structure uh, organelle present inside the cell. This is called the nucleus. In case of animal cell, it is present in the center. In case of plant cell, it is present at the periphery. Periphery means at the edge or we can say at the side okay now this nucleus has a membrane it is called nuclear membrane inside the nu nuclear membrane has pores so that is it can exchange materials with the cytoplasm then inside the nuclear membrane is the nucleoplasm that is a liquid and inside the nucleoplasm there is a spherical structure called the nucleolus and there is thin thread like structure called the chromatin fibers during cell division this chromatin fibers become thick and they are called uh, chromosomes these chromosomes carry genes and the, the function of chromosome is to transfer the characteristics from the parent to the children through the genes okay now next organelle is this one this is called the endoplasmic reticulum endoplasmic reticulum is also present in it is a plant cell also so endoplasmic reticulum is an irregular can you see it is an irregular network of tubular structures that are interconnected with each other they are interconnected uh, with each other and are bounded by a membrane they have a membrane also and can you see this uh, structure tiny structures are called ribosomes if suppose if ribosomes are present on the surface of the endoplasmic reticulum then it is called rough endoplasmic reticulum and suppose if ribosomes are not present on the surface of the endoplasmic reticulum then it is called smooth endoplasmic reticulum it is very clear from the diagram okay now function of the endoplasmic reticulum is that it serves as a pathway for the distribution of materials within a cell and between two cells it also provides internal support to the cell. Let us now study about the ribosomes. These are ribosomes. These are very minute structures scattered in the uh, cytoplasm. And uh, they are also attached, as discussed now, that they are also attached to the surface of the endoplasmic reticulum. And they do not have membranes. And they help in the synthesis of proteins. Now, next, this, we have mitochondria. This mitochondria is rod shaped and spherical. This is or spherical organelle. Uh, it is called the powerhouse of the cell because it gives energy to the cell. Okay. And this is what happens. The mitochondria use a glucose and oxygen to produce uh, energy. Uh, this mitochondria has a outer membrane also and inner membrane. And between the outer membrane and the, this is the outer membrane and the inner membrane. Between the two, there is a uh, intermembrane space, and there is a finger-like projections called the cristae, and there is liquid inside the mitochondria is called the matrix. Now, this structure, this organelle uh, is called Golgi bodies or Golgi apparatus. This structure, mitochondria is also present in uh, the plant cell. Also, we can see here just uh, mitochondria these uh, the mitochondria it is also present in the plant cell also and even same the golgi vesicles or golgi bodies are golgi bodies are here present in animal cell also and it is present in the plant cell also okay so in this we can see that we can say that these are the membrane these are uh, golgi bodies are membrane bound stacks of thin flattened and they are parallel pouches and they are called cisternae okay and these cisternae are not connected with each other and they are found in the cytoplasm uh, near to the nucleus and it is also next to the endoplasmic we can see here it is next to the endoplasmic reticulum and these goji bodies are small and are more in number okay they are also called dic um, dictyosomes in case of plant cells okay in plant cell they are called dictyosomes let us know the function of this uh, golgi bodies these golgi bodies help in the secretion of certain hormones and enzymes 
they help in the formation of cell wall in plant cells they are also involved in transportation of substances within the cell now next structure or organelle that we are going to study is the lysosomes these are spherical sac like structure and evenly distributed in the cytoplasm okay and they are called the they are small surrounded by a, a single membrane and contain powerful enzymes okay these enzymes are capable of digesting or breaking down all organic materials lysosomal enzymes are made up of made by the rough endoplasmic reticulum now these lysosomes are called uh, the garbage disposal system of the cell why because they destroy any foreign material which enter the cell such as bacteria and virus it also removes the worn out and the poorly working cellular organelles by digesting them now these lysosomes are also uh, known as the suicide bags of a cell why because uh, during breakdown of the cell structure when the cell gets damaged lysosomes burst enzymes comes out and then they eat up their their own cell that is why they are called the suicide bag of a cell now next we have centrosome uh, centrosome contains uh, it consists of two minute granules can you see this granules these are called the centrioles and the centrioles are present only in the it is only present in the animal cell okay and they help in the cell division in animal cells okay next we have a structure in plant cell it is absent in the animal cell but it is present in the plant cell and this structure is called the plastids what are plastids plastids are organelles that contain pigments colored uh, matter present in the cytoplasm of the plant cell okay so this plastids are of three types they are called chloroplast since we can see here chloroplast these are uh, chloroplast are the green colored pigment organelle we can say and they contain chlorophyll and this is the site of what is the uh, function of this chloroplast it help in the making of the food by the green plants okay chloroplast and this plastids are of three types first is uh, chloroplast next we have chromoplast and they are called the colored pigments and they provide red yellow and orange color okay and leucoplast is uh, leucoplast lack any kind of pigment so they are called colorless plastids they help in storing food prepared by the plants in the form of starch fat and proteins now next we have is vacuole this is uh, in animal cell if vacuole is present it is very small uh, but in case of plant cell uh, this vacuole is very large and it is in the center can you see this and uh, these vacuoles uh, they store various substances including a uh, waste products uh, of the cell and the vacuoles generally contain water and but in case of plant cell it can uh, the vacuole is filled with a liquid called the cell sap uh, which contains dissolved sugars and salts in case of if we uh, take uh, the case of amoeba the vacuoles contain food particles that is why in case of uh, amoeba the vacuoles are called the food vacuoles okay so we have already studied the, the similarities and we have also discussed about we can say the differences between the two so in brief let us discuss now about the differences between plant and animal cell okay now we will discuss about the differences between the plant and the animal cell okay if we see if we come uh, see to the cell size characteristic cell size in plant cell uh, the size of the cell is large in case of animal it is small plast is already discussed that it is plant may it is present and in case of animal cell it is absent cell wall is present in uh, plant cell but absent in animal cell vacuole already discussed discussed now that a vacuole is large and permanent in case of plant cell and if vacuoles are present in uh, 
animal cell then it is small and temporary lysosome that is uh, that was the societal bag of a cell so it is generally absent in plant cell and it is present in animal cell because in plant cell uh, vacuoles only uh, does the work of lysosome in few cases it may be present but generally it is most of the plants it is absent only okay if we compare the centrosome and centrure it is absent in plant cell and it is present only in the animal cell so here um, i end with this video i hope you have understood and uh, kindly watch my video so that your concepts become clear okay thank you students